Actions, the bronze soldier was a tribute to heroes who helped to liberate Estonia from the Nazis, but many Estonians viewed it as a symbol of Soviet occupation. After the monument was moved, clashes broke out between the Russian community and police in Tallinn. 20-year-old Russian Dmitry Ganin was stabbed to death and more than 200 protesters were arrested. Four of them have been charged with organizing violent riots. The Estonian authorities say damage from the unrest amounts to some 700 million US dollars. The material losses from the riots may have been established, but the identity of those who killed the young man has not. This war cemetery on the outskirts of Tallinn is the new home of the bronze soldier and the remains of 13 Soviet soldiers who were reburied nearby. This statue has driven a wedge between the Russian-speaking population and the Estonian authorities. Many Russians described its removal as a slap in the face. One of its most avid defenders, Maxim Reva, is also a member of the Night Watch movement set up to protect the monument. It's an insult against all Russians living in Estonia and all other people from around the world whose relatives fought against fascism. It's an insult against Russia. The monument was deliberately moved in order to boost nationalism in Estonia so that the government could stay in power in spite of the economic crisis. Reva is one of four activists charged with organizing riots which ended in looting and arson. He has already spent seven months in custody. His lawyer says the charges against him are unfounded. In my opinion, there is no element of crime in my client's actions. They neither organized nor provoked these mass riots. While some in Estonia say the country's frosty relations with Russia cannot get any worse, many are concerned that this case could provoke a new wave of hostility. Valera Bekova, RT, Tallinn, Estonia.